sin, and you and I are called to deny ourselves, take up our cross daily and follow. Jesus said, if you're coming with me, it requires more than belief alone. And is it possible that we've cheapened grace so much that all we think we can do is believe and then coast to the finish line? It's easy to be rescued, but it's harder to follow. To follow necessarily implies this metaphor of a journey. I'm going on a journey. I'm leaving behind the old. I'm giving up the right to be my own boss. Some of you are realizing that. You're knowing that you're not your own. The Bible says you're bought with a price. And then Paul goes on to say, glorify God with your bodies even. You know, I'm not my own anymore. And then letting him take us to where we would have never gone on our own. You know, but instead, this seems to be the norm. Christians who coast come when it's convenient. Get involved occasionally and give when there's, you know, a few dollars in my pocket. But but then came COVID. You know, crisis serves as an accelerator, doesn't it? COVID pushed you hard and in the the direction that you were already headed. And, And many who were coasting have lost all momentum and they're drifting in the current of the culture. And frankly, Jesus is not an important part of their life right now. It's apparent in the worry and in the anger and in the unforgiveness. It's apparent in the language they use. It's apparent in how they interact with others. No mercy, no grace, no forgiveness, hard line. It's apparent in the lack of concern for others. So many have coasted and now the momentum is gone. And they've finally come to a stop. And they're picking up speed as they're drifting backwards. 